face. Today I have my boyfriend, John Wells. So we're gonna be talking mental health, uh, things like that. So yeah, just keep watching if you want to hear what John Wells has to say about mental health. Yeah. Okay, let me start with this. How are you today? Cool, solid, solid. pretty good. You know what I'm okay. saying? Nice little day. Yeah, for we're, sure. We're out of town right now. We are out of town. We just had some good food. Mm -hmm. Going pretty well. I want to start with what do you think your best experiences were this year? I got to say one of my best experiences this year was performing at the film off for the first time because I brought you along. I brought the Derek. Gang. Yeah, I brought the gang with me. Scotty, Derek, Nero, DJ Sun was there. Bobby Woody was there. Wish Q could have been there. Wish the whole gang could have been there. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It was like um, just the fact that like I'm doing this with my friends and the people that I love. Stuff like that has always meant a lot to me right. because like y'all like my family for couldn't really have done any of this without y'all. Yeah, 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 well. <laughs> okay. Uh, compared to this time last year, do you think that you were happier or? I think compared to this time last year, I'm definitely happier. I think I've, I, I try to progress every year anyways, even in those ways, like emotionally, like I'd rather be more content with my life than before. I feel like a lot of people are like fighting being content because right. they feel like they become stagnant when they become content. But I, I'd much rather be happy with where I'm at and not dwelling on where I wish I could be right now than the opposite because it's like, I feel like those feelings keep you stagnant more right. than being content, being happy. So because you said like, you like, you think that you've like grown emotionally, could you describe like a time where you felt like you weren't necessarily doing the best emotionally and how you've grown like now? Like mm -hmm. what would you do differently? What would I do differently if I went back to those, yeah. that place? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. That was a So, um, yeah, you know I'm saying, um, cause I could start, you know, talking about like all the stuff that happened with my dad, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like honestly, I handled that pretty well right? for what it's worth. So I'm thinking back to like when I was like in like high school and shit, cause I, I dealt with depression a lot throughout high school. I had a lot of stuff that was going on and a lot of stuff that was on my mind. And you know, I, I was like, I don't know, like I was so deeply, deeply depressed for like the ages of like 13 to probably like, honestly, maybe like 19. So that was like a cool six years of me just being like messed up. It's hard to say, hard to look back and say, all right, you, you should have did this when you were going through all this stuff. Right. Cause you would have dealt with it better because I really do feel like, you know, things happen the way they do for a reason and you wouldn't be where you're at today if it wasn't for the things that happened yesterday. Right. So, I don't know. If I had some advice to a person who was going through the same things I was going through at that time, I would say be as honest as possible with yourself and with the people around you. Be more accepting of love when people try to give it to you. Don't be so weary of every piece of love right. that you get because you start to um, doubt people, kind of. The doubt isn't always caused by the, you know, the people who are in your life. It's a lot of times more so caused by you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think you need to just accept the fact that people's feelings aren't as fake as you may think they are. Not everybody hates you. Not everybody is annoyed with you. Not everybody is not able to deal with you like you, like you are deserving of love. You deserve to not feel like this and keep going more than anything because you know, eventually it does get better. It does a lot. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that was a really good piece of advice, though. And I guess our last question would be, how do you think that you take care of yourself? I take care of myself by <coughs> coughing into my arm and being with 
people that I love, staying around people that I love, not going around people that I know aren't necessarily the best for me. Not that they're bad people or anything, but sometimes people just ain't good for you. Right. It's not good to be around them all the time. Right. Because sad to say it's like they're bad energy, or they can be, at least. Right. Do what you love to do more than anything. Always make time to do what you love to do. Do the things that keep you sane and keep you at peace so that that's always a part of your life. You right. can't allow chaos, just the general chaos of life to consume your life because right. that only makes your life chaotic. And right. you know, you want peace and happiness in your life more than anything. So yeah, I, I stay around people I love, do the things I love to do, try my best to understand my emotions and talk about them and, and talk my way through them. Tell the people I love, like you, about it, you know what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. can't figure this all out without the people that I love, you know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. Well, thank you for sharing. Um, no had a really great time talking to you about some things. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. Bye. I love him.